Hi. Hello there. I'm uh, Tom. I'm Pete. We're New Art Club. And welcome to this, the third of our podcasts. Yeah. Hello. And, uh, and this week we're going to be talking about what's on this week in Dance Umbrella. Yeah. And there's loads of good stuff. There's loads of good stuff. And the first thing that we're going to talk about is Rhythm Is It. Which is a documentary film uh, about a piece of choreography done by Royston Muldoon uh, on the right of spring. Yeah, and it's, it's a piece of choreography uh, that's he's done with a bunch of uh, young people from Germany. Like t- more, I, I say a bunch. A very big bunch because it's more than 200. Yeah, and these are all kids that have never danced before. Yeah, but that's what it says. But I mean, I put a lip, a small, perhaps a small question mark on that. It says in the publicity they've never danced before, but I'd be amazed if they were able to find 200 young people that have never danced before. Mm. I mean, I think it means they've never, never danced, danced on stage before. Yeah, pr- and they've probably never danced in a, a kind of a modern mm. classic like The Rite of Spring. And the film tells is a kind of documentary about their journey of making this thing. But it struck me that it's not a particularly kind of good subject matter for young people. Well, the thing about, the thing about it for me is that I kind of really wondered about, you know, which one of them they chose, you know, which one did they choose to you yeah. know, kill off? Which one did they give the old... Yeah. Well, that's it, you see, I'm saying like this, yeah. as if they... Yeah, slit their throats. But she doesn't. She dances she herself. She dances to herself death. to death, which is what a one hell of a way to go. Yeah, and not a particularly modern kind of idea, again, is it? Because if it was, it would be more like she'd uh, dance herself until she was, I don't know, just a bit out of breath these days. Yeah, I see what you're saying because it's like the it's not so you know society isn't so um, concerned with that kind of sacrifice for the greater good. No, you know, it's more kind of an individualistic society that we're mm. living in. So that kind of doesn't doesn't resonate so mm. so so much perhaps. Maybe dance dance yourself until you get uh, kind of voted off. Yeah, yeah. But it, but dancing yourself to death in itself is quite strange, isn't it? Because it's an extremely you know, unusual lots idea. Lots of people do get you know people get executed, for example, with corporal yeah. punishment. But they don't get offered that chance, do they? they no, get, they usually get like lethal injection. Yeah electric chair mm. and, and very rarely do they get dance yourself to death. No. But you know, for me, if they did get that, I mean if I was offered that, yeah. I mean I think What dance would you choose? Yeah. I'd go with cha cha cha. Yeah. And do you think that if that because when I imagine somebody on death row, I've got like that orange outfit, you know, the Oh yeah, of, like a big boiler suit. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that they'd specially make one for you? If you were going to do the cha cha cha, yeah, that. I think maybe they would like a nice kind of slightly tighter, still with <laughs> the orange, yeah. slightly tighter plunge neckline, yeah. but with a bit of that kind of stocking material, flesh colours, yeah. just across and a there. bit, f- bit tight around, tight around the, around the butt cheeks, flaring out at the bottom, something mm-hmm. like that. What a way to go! But yeah. also, it'd take a long time, wouldn't it? Yeah, kill yourself off like that. Be tricky. And the conductor on the on the film is Simon Rattle. Yes, so it's quite and exciting. Simon Rattle, who you've you had a little meeting. Let's say you've met. You not yeah. really met him. Well, not you really. have seen him, haven't you? Well, yeah, I was in Which the. Is a bit embarrassing. I was in the lift at the uh, Royal Opera House, and uh, it was quite busy. And uh, the doors opened, and somebody got in, and everyone went quiet. And I turned round, and I, I kind of wondered why everyone had gone quiet, just because Leo Sayer had got in the lift. Yeah. But the thing about Simon Rattle is he's not a one-man band, is he? No. No. That was Leo saying, really. No, it's just not. one of his songs. It is, that's right. Now, in Bal Pinto, that's the next thing that we're going to talk about. Yeah, and we have seen this, and it's really good. It is really nice. And the stage is completely covered in snow, it but it's is. not real snow. It's made out of little styrofoam yeah. balls. And the company have had a real problem, because they... They norm, they, they've, they've had to import them because they can't get the right sized balls. Yeah, it's tricky. It's tricky. It's, uh, because, you know, if you get like really small, if they're too small, mm-hmm. then they, you know, really stick to the performers. The performers end up, you know, covered in style and yeah. bone, kind of in their fits. hair. And, so yeah. they have to kind of be really the right yeah. size. Too small, they don't work. And yeah. if they're too big, you get them kind of like that, then... You know, the idea of the show is that they're evoking a, a wonderland of winter, not that they're like, evoking a, a wonderland of Dolph. No, that would be very different. It wouldn't really, it wouldn't really work. With, anyway, with what we've seen of it, no. that would be quite odd. And, and, it, and it's, it's great. 
to say. It's a nice show. Very really beautiful. Lovely. Lots of lovely swooping choreography. Yeah. Quite quite strange. Quite dreamlike. It is quite dreamlike. Mm -hmm. and, and we're going to come back to the dreamlike things later because there's another dreamlike show this week. But before we do that, we're going to talk about Giselle by Amanda Miller. Mm, which we haven't seen. We haven't seen, but there's a big controversy brewing around it. Yeah. Because Dance Umbrella is a contemporary dance festival. Yeah. We all know that. And Giselle is a ballet. Mm. So how does it sit, Amanda Miller's Giselle? Is it like a contemporary dance version or, or not? I mean, she's, you know, apparently she's reworked it, but she's using this music and she's telling the story that's kind of, you know she's so how is she doing that that's yeah. what i would i'll be telling the story through like gesture like yeah. classical ballet does will there be exactly. all this kind of yeah so if you say in classical ballet you want to say i love you you would kind of use a, ge a gesture like this you might say this for i and then something like this and then and then this mm. like this something like that Whereas if you were going to do, if you were going to tell the story through gesture, but modernify it, yeah, in contemporary what might, dance, what might you do? More like kind of I, yeah, I, I like it. Still, something like that. Yeah. Well, and we don't know if she's doing that. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Yeah. You can uh, drop us a little line on our yeah. uh, MySpace page, which is. Uh, myspace.com forward slash new art club yeah. let us know what you think. So if you go and see it, yeah, it'd be really good, really good. Is it, is it ballet, is it contemporary? Who, you know, let's, let's see if you can decide that for us. And now we're going to talk about Alias, the dreamy one. Which is on the place. Yeah. And that's, that's all about, it's about kind of taking you, ima imagining if your dreams could dance, that's kind of what it, what it says it's about. And it is, it's very... Really good dreamy. subject for contemporary dance because there's, you know, that's kind of... Exactly, it kind know, of allows your imagination to kind of roam around, doesn't mm -hmm. it? It kind of, in a way, anything could happen, you know, within that kind of construct, anything could happen, you know, stuff mm -hmm. could... But there is a pitfall because... You know, you don't want to just kind of just throw in anything in there that kind of breaks the logic of the show. You can't. No, you've still got to find a. You've still got to find a kind of logical. You can't just put any old baloney in there. You know, you've got to find some kind of logical structure because it, if you don't do that, then you know you're kind of selling the public short. You can't. You know, it, it will be wrong to just throw things in for the sake of it and say, oh, it's like a dream. Wouldn't it, Tom? But it's good. Yeah, it's good. That's, so that's get down it. and see that. Get down the place. and see that at the place. And uh, that's about it for this that's week. About it. There is a discussion later in the week as well yeah. about dance and old age. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, so you. enjoy your week watching stuff in Dance Umbrella. Yeah. Bye, cheerio.